Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, dear grade 11 students, how are you all? Uh, today's lesson is degrees of comparison or uh, the title of the unit is about modifiers and as you know modifiers are adjectives and adverbs. So today we are going to do chapter 24 using modifiers and we'll start with Section 24.1, degrees of comparison. You know, friends, that adjectives and comparatives are used to make comparisons, and there are three degrees of comparison. Uh, quickly, uh, the positive degree, the comparative degree, and the superlative degree. As you can see, the positive degree is the adjective or the adverb itself. Here we have three adjectives, quick, pleasant, bad. Here we have three adverbs, slow, pleasantly, and badly. Remember, slow can be slowly. Slow is an adjective, and the word slow is an adverb at the same time, and we have also slowly. So the comparative form of the adjectives is quicker. You know, we add ER. If the adjective is more than two syllables, like this one, pleasant, or a long word, pleasant, pleasant, we use more instead of ER, or we have something like worse and better, some exceptions. As for the adverbs, slow becomes slower, pleasantly becomes more pleasantly, and badly, like bad, becomes worse. The superlative form, you know, we add EST, or most or least, most or least, quickest, most pleasant, worst, slowest, most pleasantly, worst. Okay, so these are the three degrees of comparison. Let's look at this exercise. Recognizing positive, comparative, and superlative degrees. Identify, the question is identify the degree of each underlined modifier. Let's do the first five. Uh, there are five, okay. We have an example here. Life in New England was more difficult than the Puritans had expected. So the underlined adjective is more difficult. As you know, it's comparative. More difficult is comparative. Number one here, the Puritans wanted to be free to practice their religion. Uh, here, free is positive. Positive, okay? Number two, uh, the, we have purer here. Purer. Purer is comparative. Number three, we have most important, which is superlative. Number four, we have earlier. Earlier is comparative. Number five, more strict, more strict, which is comparative, okay? Using regular forms, using regular forms, adjectives and adverbs can be either regular or irregular, depending on how their comparative and superlative degrees are formed. The comparative and superlative degrees of most adjectives and adverbs are formed regularly. Two rules govern the formation of regular modifiers. The first concerns modifiers of one or two syllables. The second concerns modifiers of three or more syllables. Let's look at the key concept. Use ER or more. ER, like quick, quicker, more like beautiful, more beautiful, to form the comparative degree and EST, or most, like quickest and the most beautiful, to form the superlative degree of most one and two syllable modifiers. When we have a modifier uh, uh, that has one or two syllables, we add ER or more in the comparative, EST and most in the superlative. Again, we talk about modifiers with one or two syllables. The more commonly used method of forming the comparative and superlative degrees of one and two syllable modifiers is to add ER and EST rather than more and most. Though English often allows the use of either method. More and most should be avoided when the construction sounds awkward. For example, life was more hard than they thought. It sounds much more awkward than life was harder. Awkward means negative or bad or weak. Okay, so 
it's easy to say harder. We don't need to say more hard. The examples below show one and two syllable modifiers formed regularly with ER and EST. Pride, brighter, brightest, crafty, craftier, craftiest, subtle, subtler, subtlest. More and most are used with a number of one and two syllable modifiers when ER and EST would sound upward, the opposite, okay? Rely on your ear to determine which words sound upward with ER and EST. A word like just, can you say juster or justest? No, you haven't or you have never heard it. So just, more just and most just. Just is one syllable, just, just, okay? Pleasing, two syllables, pleasing. More pleasing, we can't add ER to an adjective ending with ing, more pleasing, most pleasing. Devout, devout, devout. More devout, most devout. All adverbs that end in ly, regardless of the number of syllables, form their comparative and superlative degrees with more and most. Freely, more freely, most freely. Happily, more happily, most happily. Abruptly, more abruptly, most abruptly. Again, all adverbs, all adverbs form their comparative and superlative forms, all adverbs ending in ly with more and most. Uh, when a modifier consists of three or more syllables, the comparative and superlative degrees are easily formed, more or most, more and most, okay? Delicate, more delicate, most delicate, and so on. Note about comparisons with less and least. You know, less is the opposite of more, least is the opposite of most. Less and least mean the opposite of more and most and can be used to form the comparative and superlative degrees of most modifiers. Smooth, less smooth, least smooth. Acceptable, less acceptable, least acceptable. Explicitly, less explicitly, least explicitly. Okay, here, forming comparative and superlative degrees, write the comparative and the superlative form of each modifier. Let's have two or three uh, words, pure. The comparative is purer and the superlative is purest. Simple, simpler, simplest, religious, more religious, most religious, brave, braver, bravest, important, more important, most important. Okay, let's move on to the next point. Using irregular forms, using irregular forms. Uh, the comparative and superlative degrees of a few adjectives and adverbs are not formed according to any predictable pattern. They are irregular. They must be memorized. Uh, if you look at this table here, we have bad. Can we say better or baddest or no? We don't have such thing in English. Bad becomes worse, comparative, and worse in superlative. Badly, the same. Badly, the adverb. Worse and worse. Far, which means or refers to distant or distance, a distant thing. Farther, farthest. Far, which talks about ideas or thoughts. Further, furthest. Good, better, best, late, later, last or latest, both are okay. Little, when we talk about amount, less or uh, uh, least. But little, which means small, remember this little, which means small, can be letter, littler and littlest. Many, more, most, much, more, most, well, like good, because this is the adverb, good, well, better and best. Note about bad and badly. Bad is an adjective that can be used after a linking verb. It cannot be used as an adverb after an action verb. Puritans feared bad in English society. Puritans felt bad about English society. Okay? Uh, badly is an adverb that can be used after an action verb. It cannot be used as an adjective after a linking verb. They felt badly. No, they felt bad. Because felt is an, a, a linking verb. The government treated them. How did the government treat them? Badly. Note about good and well. 
like bad, good is an adjective, and well is an adverb. Uh, they acted good, no. When we describe a verb, we use the adverb will. They felt good. They felt good, okay? Because felt is an, uh, a linking verb. Uh, will is usually an adverb and like badly can be used after an action verb. Some uh, Puritans did well. I can swim well, I can speak English well. Well is an adjective when it is used to mean healthy. I am well, okay? Uh, after landing, they all or they soon uh, felt well again. Felt means, felt uh, well means felt healthy. Okay, here, rewrite each sentence, correcting the underlined irregular modifier by following the instructions in parentheses. The harsh New England winters were more bad than the, oh, we need it in the comparative. Of course, you know that more bad is not English. It should be worse, worse. Much settlers, much settlers. Here we need it in the positive. And settlers is a countable noun, so it should take many, not much, many settlers. Number three, in addition to the cold weather, the settlers were farther challenged. Farther talks about uh, uh, distance. It should be further. Uh, Farther talks about distance, but we need uh, ideas or thoughts here further. Uh, number uh, four, despite facing most challenges, here we need uh, positive, challenges countable, uh, many, many challenges. Number five, the most good, we need it in the superlative. Of course, most good is the best, the best, not the most good. Uh, and this is the end of today's lesson. Thank you very much.